Hey good people and it's Tisha Our Politics and Fashion here today with a video that I feel like is about to revolutionize your wardrobe. Listen, thank me now. Subscribe now because we about to go from basic to bust down in a matter of like 15 minutes. I guarantee you, okay? Today's video is all about five categories that I feel like you are not showing enough love time and attention in your wardrobe that can really amplify your style no matter how you dress. My style pillars in my newest ebook which will be linked down below cover the different kind of categories of style that I think exist. These kind of style archetypes. So whether you are elevated simplicity, you are adventurous, you are the more is more, or you are a blank, blank slate type. What I believe is spending time focused in these five areas, it's just gonna make your style girl do what it do. People are gonna be like, oh my God, where'd you get that? Oh my God, this looks so good. Girl, and it can be a, a Target t-shirt and a pair of jeans from the thrift store. But you pair it with what I'm about to tell y'all today, the categories that are most often forgotten, and it's just gonna instantly take your style from zero to 100 real quick, all right? If that sounds good to you, make sure you have subscribed to my channel once again. You are following me over on Instagram for daily style inspiration. And let's just go ahead and get started. Now we're friends, so let me share with you all what I'm wearing today. I have on my jacket, which you all would have saw in my Fall Trends video. This is part of a set, but I'm wearing just the jacket today. I'm also wearing a bodysuit by Aritzia. You all already know how I feel about Aritzia, okay? My new necklace by Christian Dior. I love this piece. I've been obsessed with this piece. I talked to my Dior unboxing about how I actually wanted this piece, and finally, they just said, sis, let me treat you. I'm going to go ahead and get you the necklace. So I'm wearing that necklace. As you can see, it has the small CD right here, but it's subtle, which I love, okay? On my wrist is Cartier Just Some Clue, as well as my Christian Dior friendship bracelet. On this wrist is the Fossil Gen 5E. Oh, and then just simple jean shorts from a Goldie. I love these because I think they have the perfect length. And that is the OOTD. Let's get into the first category, which as you can see is belts. Now, I like to go on a bit of a rant about the lack of love of belts in women's fashion. I actually talked about this recently on an IG Live, and someone in the comments reminded me, they were like, well, part of the reason why women don't gravitate to belts more often is because if you look on any website, if you go into any store, most of the time outfits are not merchandised with belts. And I was like, that is exactly what it is. We rarely see belts merchandised. And so it's hard to kind of imagine how you would style them if you're not seeing them. But girl, let me tell you something right now. Go ahead, find that glitch in the matrix and start to introduce belts into your wardrobe. They are going to make the biggest, biggest difference. And I think Men understand this. I think we oftentimes put a belt on our young people, on our kids when they're little, but they actually keep their pants up, okay? It's part of their school uniform, maybe. But for some reason, we just feel like, you know, women and femmes, more feminine dressers, you're just not supposed to wear a belt. I don't, I don't get it. So I've talked before with y'all about the Valentino V logo belt. This one is reversible, okay? And I actually, as I was getting ready for this video, actually tried it on on top of this jacket and I just want y'all to see because see somebody out there y'all not believing me when I tell you how you can go from basic to bust down with these five categories okay and just get into the B logo belt and what it instantly does okay I'm gonna look in my mirror which is over here and now you see how I have this little pop of gold with my necklace okay oh girl now, I wouldn't wear this with the shorts. I would actually wear it with the matching pants that go along with this. Or I would possibly wear it with a pair of heels and then roll the sleeves way up so that it feels kind of a little bit more casual. Okay, yeah. That's a little bit more kind of how you would wear it if you didn't want to wear shorts just to keep the proportions in balance. But girl, this is dummy. All I did was put a belt on and the pop of gold 
instantly stands out. Now, here's the thing. Obviously, your belt does not have to be Valentino whatsoever. I actually have a belt that was 50 bucks on this rack I'm going to show y'all as well. Um, but the great part about a belt that has hardware, and in this case, gold hardware, is that it's going to reflect off of your other gold pieces and it's going to give your outfit a very elevated silhouette. This could easily be, easily be a black blazer with a pair of black slacks or a black mini skirt, right? Like there's so many ways to do this. I happen to love the idea of putting a belt over a jacket, but it could also just do this together. Just be within the belt loops of my shorts. Again, we are taking pretty basic pieces. I mean, I understand that the jacket has a print on it, but yours doesn't have to be printed. And look at this. One of the reasons why I got this belt is because I had a belt with gold hardware from Zara that I loved. I wore it every day to work. Um, I had to wear a suit to work and it was my favorite belt. The belt completely fell apart and that's when I knew, okay, I'm loving belts, I'm loving gold hardware. I can actually introduce into my wardrobe one that's better quality and I know I'm going to get the wear out of it. And once again, I'm loving it. Do, do you see? And now what I'm noticing is the way the letters CD and the V are also adding a bit of interest to the outfit as well okay so once again belts 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 girl I am going to show you just two more that are here this second Valentino belt doesn't go with what I'm wearing today I'll pop up a picture but I also just for the purpose of demonstration throw it on for you so you can see the thickness of the weave on the side of this one I got this on sale yes designer brands have sales if you're new here I talk about this all the time okay I wanted this belt when it was full price couldn't bring myself to do it because obviously it's not an everyday piece when it went on sale for 40% off I grabbed that thing so quickly and it is such a wonderful piece I love it with dresses and just get into the raffia weave okay so think about just a simple black slip dress a maybe white or a tan linen dress really any color okay if it is oversized for example if you're wearing like a peplum top in some jeans this is going to instantly give you a waist i think about maybe certain curvy body types a thicker belt is just going to cinch you in immediately and this one with the raffia is just so so interesting now i mentioned it was on sale i don't know don't know if it's still going to be available but if it is i will link it down below now let's get into this one now this is a dupe of the very popular Bottega Veneta belt. Um, I was not going to spend a thousand dollars for that one so I got this from a Chinese owned website called Apollo. I just googled I think like Bottega belt dupe and I found that website. Um, it took like two weeks for it to come so I was like eh, is this legit? But ever since then I have been in love. Okay. And then we just have the tail that hangs there, which is another really key, I think, style moment. Um, these just small elements that are going to give an outfit some interest, some layering, and also some texture, okay? The fact that the tail just hangs here. Let me look in my mirror again. Again, something that I probably would not wear together. I could. Um, I could definitely see this once again with the pants that match. But I just love the way with the tail it elevates the outfit. I probably wouldn't wear this belt tucked into the belt loops. I think it really is meant to be worn like on top of something. Typically dresses, jackets is the direction that I would go. But girl, it is completely up to you. I think that it is absolutely delicious. Next up is hats. And hats make up what I like to call your third layer. Oftentimes I think we get really stuck in thinking about our top, our bottom, our dress, our shoes. But we don't think about that third piece that's really going to pull everything together. And that is what a hat does. Really all of the pieces that I'm going to talk to you about today. Now this one is great because it's a great straw hat. I wore it all summer. It's a nice neutral color. And I think, let me just get into the weaving because it's substantial. It's not kind of 
you know, floppy on the brim. It's very sturdy. And I happen to think that it is perfect for spring and summer. Now, I probably wouldn't wear this deep into fall, winter. I would probably switch to something that was wool like this one. By the way, both of these hats are from a brand called Gurren Brothers. Um, I know this one is sold out, but if I can find this one, I definitely will link it. I'm just looking at myself. It's, it's giving a where in the world is Carmen San Diego, okay? And I'm not mad at it because what I know is what I could also do is hit y'all with the heat and mess around and do like a nice chocolate on chocolate moment. Girl. Girl. Ah! Hats. Hats. This, this just should be a no-brainer on your list. And now, mind you, I am as bald-headed as they come, okay? I see a barber twice a week. So, I don't care what kind of hairstyle you wear, long hair, short hair, natural hair, there is a way to wear a hat that is going to work for you, whether you pull it down in the front, if you wear it back, kind of Janelle Monae style, which I did for years. I feel like a nice hat is going to amplify whatever your style pillar is, okay? Then there's one more I want to show y'all as well, and it is this one, which is a bit more out there, okay? Not as safe, but if you are more on the adventurous side, this is the kind of piece that I just think is such a statement. Because when, if ever, have you seen a beret that's raffia? Oh, wait a minute. Girl. Do you see? Was I not just talking about this? And then think about the raffia with the daggone raffia white shirt, black pants, like oversized white shirt. We're going to do the hat, we're going to do the belt. We're going to do a nice Chelsea boot, a good old nasty boot, okay? That's how you pull everything together. That's what happens when you see somebody and you're like, oh my God, you are dressed down. It's because they have perfected the third layer and hats are a big part of that. Next up, let's go to sunglasses. And I will be the first person to admit that I do not wear sunglasses nearly enough. Number one, I need them to protect my eyes. We ain't trying to get wrinkles around here, okay? Um, but also, I know what they can do to a look. And I have probably about eight or nine pair. My favorites, 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 which y'all would have saw me wear a bunch of times, is this pair from Free People. They're not going to look the best with what I have on today, but I just want to show you all because they have this light blue lens. I wore these in Tulum with an all kind of like tan, ecru, bone color outfit. And I just feel like these are really, really good when you're wearing something that's simple and you want to give it like a retro pop and add a little bit of color. So absolutely love those. And plus they were very affordable. They were probably under $30, um, if that much, okay? And then when you talk about you really want to jump out here and just do the absolute most, okay? We can go for something like this. These are by Enroda, which is a black owned brand. But for everyday wear, y'all, I think just a nice classic pair of either Wayfarers or maybe something that's a little bit more of an exaggerated kind of top to them. These are by Marc Jacobs. Can be a workhorse in your outfits, for your outfits, in your wardrobe, okay? These just give you like that sleek, put together feel, okay? You have on your sunglasses. Girl, let me get a handbag because I'm, y'all, Y'all need to understand what I'm saying to you right now. Okay, you put on your sunglasses and then you're carrying, this is a YSL Eastside bag. You're just gonna carry your handbag, girl. And then you're just gonna walk into the PTA meeting. That, that's what you're going to do. There's no sun in there. It doesn't matter. You're just gonna walk and you're gonna politely sit down. You're gonna say, Mackenzie, that's my child. This is what a good pair of sunglasses do. It just, it can help to pull everything together. It can add color. And it can also add a bit of like substance to your style as well. If you are someone like me and you wear a bunch of gold, another great pair are these. These are by Givenchy. And I absolutely love the angular kind of 
definition of these. Again, a lighter lens. My favorite sunnies tend to have a lighter lens. I'm noticing that about myself, okay? Um, these are phenomenal. They're not as oversized, but I think this kind of rectangular shape can really work well on most face shapes. Um, and these were like $150 on sale. Sunglasses, by the way, y'all, I think are such a great entry point into luxury. And what I know, and I'll link some of my favorites down below, is that sunglasses, you don't have to pay full price for them. Not only can you always find a great sunglasses sale, but there are so many on the pre-loved market. I mean, even right now, I probably have about five pairs saved in my favorites on the real real. okay? So, I don't think I will ever get to the point where I'm gonna be willing to pay more than 200 bucks for a pair of sunglasses. And I've seen some absolutely divine ones, like Dior has some great ones, Gucci has some great ones, but I just know it's a way to save on them and to do it more affordably and still look chic and look great. So I definitely recommend adding a couple of great pair of sunglasses into your wardrobe to just amplify and boost your style. Now the next category is scarves, and I really have too many of these to name, so what I'm going to do is pop up pictures of me wearing all of these. Um, very quickly I'll go through them though. This one is my Hermes scarf that I got at the beginning of this year. Absolutely love it. Of course all these are going to be wrinkled, they're silk, but I'll just show you the pattern on it. And I like to wear this, actually, y'all, with a horse bit, which I will show you. Um, Ray probably has it in her closet, but I'll go grab it and I'll add it to a cutaway. But basically, the idea is to add a pop of, like, gold hardware and then just tie it in the front. Again, for someone like me who tends to gravitate towards neutral colors, whenever I can get a pop of gold or metallic, I'm going to do it. So that's the great part about this. It looks really good tied around the neck. Multiple ways I can wear it kind of more of a skinny fit um, or a skinny fold or I can wear like a bandana in the front which I've done this is my Hermes maxi twilly y'all I will add a picture because my favorite way to wear this is actually as a shirt I wore this as a shirt this summer with a farm real skirt to kind of do a pattern mix and I also um, wore it in Miami or Basel where I wore it on top of like a strapless bra and I tied it in the front. So great, great pop of color to my wardrobe as someone who doesn't do a lot of color. Scarves are a way to really add it. Um, you all would have seen this one in my Miami Swim Week coverage. And this is probably the largest silk scarf that I have. And I cannot wait to wear this actually this fall winter. Going back to my fall trends video, I shared with you all that winter brights were going to be a thing. And this scarf is a great way just on top of a black coat to add that layer of color. Even if everything else you're wearing is neutral because it is, you know, colder temperatures, just drape this on top of your coat. I guarantee you it's going to be a nice pop, okay? Also, I have my Gucci silk scarf here, which you would have also saw me wear on IG as a top. I absolutely love the colors of this and the nice pop of blue and red. And then let me get closer because I want y'all to see how the bees are kind of metallic. I got this from the outlet for only like $150. So whatever designer scarves or non-designer scarves that I could find, I will make sure that they are linked down below. But we're talking once again about either wearing these as actual shirts or going back to wearing them as your third layer. I just think about, for example, the uh, Hermes scarf, okay, tucked into a white collared shirt a nice blazer and a pair of high-waisted denim and either some heels or boots going out to dinner. What more do you need? You have added pattern. You have added texture because of the silk. And then if you wear it tied in the front and add the horse fit to it, what you've also done is added a pop of a metal to it as well. You added gold to it. I mean, you just want in life at that point, okay? So invest y'all in some good scarves. And last up y'all is brooches. No, we're not living in the 1940s, okay? It's not Stepford Wives moment, but I'm gonna pop up 
a couple of street style inspirations from Pinterest to really give you an idea of how to wear brooches in a more modern way. I think the Chanel brooch gets a lot of hype. I think it's way overpriced for what it is, but it is a great piece and a great pop to add to a cardigan, to add to a t-shirt, to add to a blazer, for example. And there are many, many brands that do it outside of Chanel. One of them I'm about to show you right now, and it is Christian Dior. I'm having a moment with Dior, girl. This is the Dior brooch. I don't know the exact name of it, so I will make sure that I link it down below. Recently got this when I got my new Dior necklace, and Again, we're just going for those small additions that are worth their weight in gold when it comes down to our personal style, sis. Now, let's say I had on a pair of black tights, faux leather tights, okay? Then I'm going to do a pair of black knee boots or a great pair of black booties. So now what I've done is I've gone black on the bottom, I've given you the tan on the bodysuit, I've given you the black and tan zebra on the jacket, and I've hit you with the gold and the brass accessories, okay? So everything is kind of bouncing off each other, and clearly it helps that the CD on the brooch and the CD on the necklace match, but it doesn't have to. You can have any brooch. Brooches are available at all price points, and I love vintage brooches at that. I will link some of my faves down below. I've seen quite a few um, vintage Dior brooches, so I'll try to find some if you don't want to pay full price. Um, but this is just... Even though Ray loved it when she saw it, and she doesn't go up for stuff like this, but she was like, yeah, you, you need this, okay? Going back to a wardrobe of elevated simplicity, if you are wearing a button-down shirt, for example, girl, you're on your Zoom calls for work, okay? You have a nice classic button-down on. Mess around and throw a brooch on it. And then I'll hit them with the heat with a red lip. Good old Ruby Woo lip one time for the 99 to 2000s throwback Ruby Woo. It's chic. It is chic. I think that is the undercurrent to everything that I have said today. It is just chic. It is elevated. It is going to instantly create a style and a vibe that you love. This is how you curate your closet, okay? Adding these five accessories is going to help for sure. And once again, a brooch, last but not least, is one of my favorite ways to do so. And that is it. Thank you so much for watching today's video, y'all. If you have made it this far, you might as well go ahead and subscribe, join the tribe, you love my vibe, all that good stuff. Give this video a big thumbs up and let me know down below, what do you think is one of the most forgotten accessories that people really do not pour enough love into? Also, which one of these categories was your favorite? Make sure you are following me over on Instagram, y'all, and I will see you across the internet. Peace.